And he said to me, what's your name, kid? I said, Michael Caine. He said, you in that movie, Alfie? I said, yes, yeah, I saw that. He said, you're gonna be a star, kid. Hi everyone, I'm Felipe. I'm Lillian. And we are the Postmodern Family. We are Americans living in the UK reacting to Great Britain. We make five new videos a week, so hit that subscribe button now. In this episode, we're going to react to Michael Caine on The Graham Norton Show, reflecting on when he first met John Wayne. Okay, so, um, Michael Caine first burst into the scene, apparently, on Zulu. Isn't that, that what it said? His... Introducing yes, Michael Caine. Yes, that's Kane. right. I don't know if it's introducing as a lead. I think it was introducing as a lead. So he must have been supporting in yeah, other yeah, yeah. parts. But he was so young in it. He, yeah, he and was. And he even had a different accent. I think hmm. people in general had a different accent back, hmm. back then. He has a lower accent now, doesn't he? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, more Cockney. Maybe he was putting on. He was playing a nobleman. Okay. So maybe he was putting that on. Uh, maybe. And maybe the, his Cockney-ish accent was always there. The book begins with a, a, a wonderful image of you, you know, say this young man from Alfred Castle, and you're at the Beverly Hills Hotel, and you see this helicopter. Oh, yeah. I would, uh, what happened is uh, Shirley brought me to, to Hollywood to do Gambit, but she, she, her thing she was doing overran, and I was a week on my own in Hollywood, and I was just... I'd never been to America. And I was a week on my own, and they put me in a luxurious suite in the Beverly Hills Hotel, and then nobody ever talked to me or phoned <laughs> to me. I didn't know anybody. I was just in this luxury hotel, I'm ordering caviar and champagne, <laughs> all on my own for a week. And in the daytime, I used to go down to the lobby and sit in the corner to see if I could see any stars. <laughs> oh. Yeah, and, and one day, a, a helicopter landed, and all the flowers went up and the beds outside, up in the air, and in walked John Wayne in a complete cowboy act. No, just like that, look, look. Yeah. <laughs> like and and he, he was registering in the Beverly Hills Hotel, and he looked up and he saw me in the corner. And he said to me, what's your name, kid? I said, Michael Caine. He said, you in that movie, Alfie? I said, yes, yeah, I saw that. He said, you're gonna be a star, kid. I said, oh, thank you, sir. And he said, but let me give you some advice. <laughs> he said, talk low, talk slow, and don't say too effing much. <laughs> and I had on suede shoes. And he this said is... to me, have you got them? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he, said, he said, never, never wear suede shoes. Uh -oh. So I said, what? He said, never wear suede shoes. <laughs> so I said, why? He said, because I just told you, you're going to be a star, kid. He said, and you're going to be in a gent's toilet taking a pee. He said, and the guy next to you is going to be taking a pee. He's going to look and he's going, Michael Caine. <laughs> <laughs> and then he's going to pee all over your shoes. <laughs> <laughs> That's the same. He uses his natural accent on the Batman movies, it seems. Yeah, it sounds very familiar. Mm -hmm. Ma Master, Master Way. I only know him as an older... I mean, I mainly know him as, a main, mm. as an older actor. What else has he been in besides that we know? Zulu he was and in, um, Batman. He's in The Muppets Christmas Carol. Oh, he's and he's huge. in um, um, Two Lions? or Yeah, Secondhand Lions, but he's Secondhand older. Lions, but he's a, an American accent in that. No. Yeah? No. Yes. I thought he had a British accent and explains why, because he's from England. No. No, he has a, a southern accent in that, like a oh, Texas, whatever. a Texas accent, which he sort of pull, pulls off. The Muppets Christmas Carol. Oh, was Scrooge. I didn't watch and that. He as was a youngish kid. then. He wasn't. Was he a older. voice or like an, he showed up? He was up... the 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 human, like one of the only oh, humans. Oh, I see. Goes All show. the other ones are the Muppets. Yeah. He Have you heard Scrooge. the saying here? Are you a Muppet? Stop yeah. being a Muppet. Yeah. I don't remember using that in the U.S. Why not? <laughs> Muppet as a derogatory, derogatory term yeah. that you're yeah. dumb. You're yeah. such a Muppet. I've never heard oh. that until I came oh. here. You're certain that you heard it before here. I don't know. Hmm. It makes sense to me. What else was he in that you remember? Mm -hmm. You know who I think of when I think of a young Michael Caine? Is I think of that guy in uh, The Night Manager, the main character. Really? Yeah, sort of I have similar images. I'm not saying they look like twins or anything, but... Mm. 
tall, blonde, lanky Englishman. Mm. It's kind of the the vibe that I get. The guy who plays um, Loki? That's him, right? Not That's Loki and Viking. Act. No, no, no. In um, in the Avengers. Oh, yeah, that's him. The Thor I think brother. So. I think that's him. Okay. Yeah. But I'm trying to think. What else have I seen Michael Caine in? He was in... Um, I remember the, the shock. He's like in a 70s kind of... Oh, it's going to kill me. I don't know. But he's played some hard yeah. stuff. Um, but uh, I know him mainly from the... That's... When I think of Michael Caine, sadly, you think of Batman. Mass Batman. I think of yeah, um, the Butler. Yeah. What's his name? I forget now. Um, uh. He calls them just the name in Batman. Alfred. Alfred. Yeah. yeah. Alfred. Alfred. Uncle Alfred. Yeah, that's it. That's it. But I love that character. Yeah, that's uh, a great character. Who was he replaced by in um, the? Um, another Matt British Damon. No, not Matt Damon. His friend Ben Affleck. Yeah, Batman. He was replaced by the um. Oh no, he has like a scar by his eye. Mm. He's older. Um, remember don't his remember. Name. He's he's done a lot of stuff too. That... But what's cool about that story is um, the reflection on John Wayne meets the stereotype. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I like cowboy. the advice. The advice is spot on. Yeah. Talk low. Talk, talk slow. slow. Don't say too much. Don't say too much. Yeah. That is good advice for any young man growing up into a male, mm. into an adult, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, all and the studies verify that the guy who's talking less, who talks low, and who talks slow, everyone's intrigued by like, you got to pay attention. Yeah. Yeah, the mysterious. <laughs> yeah, the man. Mis the mysterious man. Mysterious, silent, but mysterious. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. he commands attention basically because everyone else is jibbing. Well, it depends on how he looks cuz if he's a scrawny little oh, right. kid and he doesn't say much then he just looks like a reckless. But if he talks low uh -huh. when he talks. Yeah. And he talks slow. Yeah, the then that guy changes. So I went, we've been going to Iceland. It's my second time there today. Mm. And the guy at the checkout can counter mm. just looks like a normal, mm. you know, early 20s white kid sitting mm. and checking out. But his voice is very low. Mm. And it, it just parked, I could just like, it just noticed that, like yeah. how low his voice was. Yeah, yeah. It is very, it's, it's rare, I think, to find low voices like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. It draws your attention. It does. Yeah. Thanks so much for watching this episode. We hope you enjoyed it. Leave your comments. Bye! Bye.